As I've grown older, I, I read more poetry and I ask myself, why is that? What is it about it that appeals to me, a sense of distilling me as I read it? How is it tied up with my belief, my being a priest? And so I try to explore all that and uh, wrote a long introduction and then took some poems that meant a lot to me. Um, some are old, some are contemporary, uh, some are religious, some aren't. Uh, and just try to dive into them really to see what you find in those depths and uh, some surprising and fresh and sometimes provocative things emerge. Uh, and I just, I just put them down as I found them. Um, and you know, people sometimes read what you write and it resonates with them and that's a huge, it's a huge relief really that, that uh, somebody else is also sharing these perceptions. This is 107 words by Wendy Cope. It's a poem called Names. And it's about her grandmother. And um, I think it teaches us why names are important and why at the beginning of a Christian journey, for instance, we give a name to somebody. Uh, and it's a very poignant uh, poem, I think. Names. She was Eliza for a few weeks when she was a baby. Eliza Lily. Soon it changed to Lil. Later, she was Miss Stewart in the baker's shop, and then my love, my darling, mother. Widowed at 30, she went back to work as Mrs. Hand. Her daughter grew up, married and gave birth. Now, she was Nana. Everybody calls me Nana, she would say to visitors, and so they did. Friends, tradesmen, the doctor. In the geriatric ward, they used the patient's Christian names. Lil, we said, or Nana. But it wasn't in her file. And for those last bewildered weeks, she was Eliza once again.